When I say waves, what do you think of? Probably waves at the ocean, waves on the beach. And you know, if you've ever seen a ferocious storm, how much energy those waves can carry. Well, there are many other kinds of waves. Have a look at this piece of rope. If I flick it, I actually create a wave which goes to the other side of the studio. If I flick it more rapidly, more frequently, the frequency of the waves increases, but the wave length decreases. We've got a whole lot of little short waves going from here to there. Frequency goes up, wavelength comes down. That's important. Keep it in mind. You can see waves. Maybe you didn't know it, but you're looking at waves right now. You see a blue balloon and a red balloon. The reason you see different colours is because the waves coming to your eyes from the red balloon are slightly longer in wavelength than those coming from the blue balloon. And those are just two of the many colours you can see. You know that if you take white light from the sun or from the lounge room lamp and pass it through a piece of glass, a triangular glass prism, you can split it up into the colours of the rainbow. That's called the spectrum. You may have noticed the same sort of thing if you have some crystal or glass ornaments at home. Shaft of light passes through them and you see little rainbows all over the place. Look, I can see one right there now. Can you see that? Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. You can remember the names of the colours of the rainbow or the spectrum by thinking of a boy called Roy G. Biv. It's an easy little trick to remember those. Can we put those colours back together again? I'm glad you asked. I have here a little spinning top that I've made from a disc of cardboard with those colours on. Nail through the centre. Watch what happens when I spin it. Right, the colours combine and we get a sort of a whitish colour as the colours combine. There are other ways of combining those colours. Come with me. We'll have a look at this screen and put on it a spot of red light, first of all, from one of the studio lamps. And then we'll put a second spot overlapping with that one, green light, you can see where red and green mix, we get a yellowy-orange colour. Now let's add blue to that. And you can see that where red and blue overlap, we get a purpley colour called magenta. Where blue and green overlap, we get cyan. And where all three lights overlap in the centre, we get a colour which is very close to white. In fact, if we turned all the studio lights down and carefully adjusted the intensity of those colours, we would get pure white light in the centre. Well, white light and its constituent colours, that's just part of a whole range of waves. The electromagnetic spectrum, it's called. It includes the waves that we can see, the ones right in the centre, and also a lot that we can't see. If you look just to the right of the little bit in the centre, you'll see the word infrared rays. You know, just beyond the red end of the spectrum, there are infrared rays. Here's an infrared ray lamp. If we turn it on, besides the visible red light coming from it, there are infrared rays which can penetrate the muscles and make sore arms, legs and backs feel better. Now, if you could see infrared rays, the world would look something like this. Unreal colours in the sky, the trees and the grass. Well, we can't see infrared rays, nor can we see the longer waves still, the radio waves. But Marconi discovered that with those very long wavelength waves, you can actually transmit messages from one part of the world to the other, radio. Television waves are very similar. Some radio waves are in fact more than a kilometre in wavelength, very long indeed. Well, let's come back down the electromagnetic spectrum to the short end. What's beyond violet in the visible spectrum? Well, right next to violet, there are waves or rays called ultraviolet. And from this lamp, we have some purple light coming, but also some invisible ultraviolet light. And it's that light coming from the sun, which causes suntan and also sunburn. If we go shorter still, down to wavelengths that are so tiny, each wave is less than a millionth of a millimetre in length, we come to the X-rays. Rays which can actually pass through your body and show your bones and organs as well. So that's just part of the electromagnetic spectrum. If you could see all of those waves, Imagine what a confusing picture you'd have. You'd see television signals going through the air, radio signals, X-rays, infrared, ultraviolet. I think it's probably better the way it is. I want to know. Curiosity.